Rude, ignorant ass New York. Yeah, I said it. That's my city, but they evil and rude and damn off as hell there. I bet you do. Right, go ahead. And what you like about New York? The rats? Huh? Right, the rats, the heroin addicts? What do you like about New York? Huh? Read. The racist NYPD? We're the black uh, police, a uh, uh, black mayor, but they still racist as hell? What the hell you like about New York? Read, King. His eyes shall be evil towards his brother. His eye will be evil towards his brother. Don't don't use the cheer on a white man no more. Use it on your brother. Now we got a new weapon to use against each other. It's just like the drive-by shootings. It's just like the rape in jail. You get all that from the white man. And what do you do? You take the stuff that's meant from your enemy and you use it and you do it to yourself. Now you take the chair. I thought the chair was going to be like, yo, we're going to have karate classes with chairs. That's how you hit the cracker, man, when you fight them. Now you hit each other with the damn chair. You can't, the revolution can't last, man. The revolution can't last. You know why? Because you need deep under the crack. His eyes shall be evil towards his brother. It's evil towards his brother. God. And towards the wife of his bosom. Towards the wife of his bosom, God. And towards the remnant of his children. The remnant of his children, God. Which he shall leave. That he will leave, man. Glory See that? Indeed. These curses, and a lot of times, you Glory leave your children because of the curse. What the hell is right? that? Right? Is that a man? Is that a, a boy man. or a girl? Is it a girl? It's a boy trying to be a girl. What's your nationality? <laughs> right, give me Jeremiah 2 and 20, man. God damn, man. What the hell was that, man? <laughs> what the hell was that, man? That's vile, man. He said it's both. Yeah, that was the hell are you a hermaphrodite? That was right, give me, give me Jeremiah 2 and 20. You got to move it up because my mic is low. All right, yeah. Yeah, you see what this world is turning into? That's what you want? Happy Labor Day weekend. That's what you want. You want a man confused trying to be a woman. Or a, a man, a woman trying to be a man, or don't know what the hell. Are. I'm both. How the hell are you both? <laughs> Is either Lord made man or he made woman? But see, that's the confusion in the society, and that's celebrated. Right. Mm -hmm. If you're a celebrity and you say something against that, you get canceled. Yeah. You get canceled if you speak against that. Blackball. Like mm -hmm. you get blackballed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Literally. No, no pun intended. <laughs> right. Intended. You literally, man. You can't speak out against that, but guess what? The men of the Lord will speak out against whatever. That's so right. With you. We're going to condemn all forms of wickedness and exalt all forms of righteousness. Read, King. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, and verse 20. Go ahead. For of old time I have broken thy yoke and burst thy, that, Salakia, and burst thy bed. And thou, and thou saidest, I will not transgress yeah, I'm a chef. They better upon watch it. every high yeah. hill and under Word. every green tree. We'll need a thou wanderest playing the holly. Mm -hmm. Thou what? Yeah. Thou hollers playing the holly. Thou wanderest playing the holly, right? The Lord said, you black, Latino, Native American, and Seminole Indian, you wonder and you play the harlot, man. Yeah, do. You're a spiritual mm -hmm. whore, yeah, you're a do. literal whore, mm -hmm. and you're just a whore in the sight of the most high. You're a whore in every damn form. You play the harlot. Right, come on. God. Yet I have planted thee a noble vine. The Lord said he planted us a noble vine. Right, hold that. How did he plant us a noble vine? Because he made us above all other nations of people. Right, get the classic Deuteronomy 7 and 6. He said he planted us a noble vine. You are a unique, special people, Israel. But you running around, if that's our people, I don't even care if that's a damn human being. Right, they probably made that in a lab some damn way, man. Clone Tyrone. Oh, they clone Tyrone. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we fucked that motherfucker. I knew they was experiencing it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, read what you got, King. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? Like the funniest damn part of the movie, man. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and he's right. He's right, man. They are experimenting on us. Right, come on, read. Uh, yet I have planted thee a noble vine. The Lord said he planted us a noble vine. Come on. Holy a right seed. Holy a right seed completely. We are supposed to be a completely righteous people. But right? that's what Jeremiah is saying. You black, Latino, Native American, and Seminole Indian, you are supposed to be a completely righteous people. Come on. How then art thou turned into a degenerate plant? That's a degenerate plant, man. That's a degenerate, low, abominable, base, right, queer, whatever. The, the, the synonyms can go on and on. 
The Lord said, how did you turn into a degenerate gut? How then art thou turned into a degenerate plant? A degenerate plant, gut Of a strange vine. That's strange to the most high, man. Like they you, what is one of the synonyms for a so-called gay person, queer, or strange? The Lord said, you strange? What the hell was that? I don't even know what that was. Well, they said that it was both. You can't be both. But that's what this society is turning into, man. That's how we know we're coming to the last days. Because it's getting weirder and weirder out here. You ever thought, you ever thought you would walk down the street and damn drag queens and he she's would be normal? And like people don't even flinch nowadays. Yeah. Like you see it, obviously a man trying to dress up like a woman, nobody flinches no more. Hey, but, uh, that's just a he she, because it's an above world is modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. Homosexuality and lesbianism is at an all time high. And they putting that stuff on your children now. Yeah. And why are they putting that on your children? Yeah. Because they want to destroy the next generation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what? That's you for pop, that's the population generation. control. You got to understand that's population control. But keep order brother. All right. The time gonna come for that. The time gonna come for that. <laughs> but keep order. But we don't want to. We don't want to mess up the word. Uh, let the word get him for now. Right, read, King. Huh. For thou, for for though thou wash thee with with uh, nitro, with nitro. The Lord said, though thou wash thee with nitro, God, and take thee much soap, and take thee much soap. Come on. Yet thine iniquity, yet thine iniquity, that filth, man. What the hell was that? Right, come on. It's marked before me. The Lord said it's still marked before him, man. You give me Isaiah one and nine. All right, it's Mark before, what you holding? Yeah, Deuteronomy 7 and 6, we're going to get back to that. Give me uh, Isaiah 1 and 9. Your iniquity is marked before the Lord. And why is that? Because that's what the society wants, man. The so-called white man, he want to, like I tell you in Isaiah, he want to turn everything upside down. But what is our job and mission? Our job and our mission is to teach you black, Latino, Native American, and Seminole Indian to repent and come back to the Lord. That's what it is that you try to hold on to whatever last little bit of hope you think is in America. Anybody spiritual, man, anybody that can see and are spiritual, you can see this place is gone, man. You can see this place is gone and done. But no, you want to hold on to Babylon, man. You want to hold on to this wicked society. And a lot of you, a lot of our people, this truth is out here. This truth is out here, but a lot of Israel, you don't want to change, man. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters come up to me all the time. Oh, brother, man, I know. I see your fringes. I be watching y'all. I'm listening to y'all. Man, I, I know, but, but it's just hard to change, brother. Change for what, man? I don't know. I don't know what the hell y'all holding on into in this world, man. God. It's lame. It's corny. It's boring. It's whorish. It's slutty. Is death, that's what you're holding on to? But a lot of you don't want to change, man. And the Lord said, he that knew the Lord's will and, and did things worthy of stripes going to be beaten with many stripes. It's worse off if you don't know. Yeah, yeah, I know y'all. I see the fringes, brother. Y'all be watching the I know I need to get myself together. Right, well, no one is half the battle, brother. Where's the other half? Yeah, brother, I know, and, and, and I know. Well, sis, what you gonna do? You still wanna dress like a whore, but you watching videos every day. You watching brothers teach every day, but you still wanna dress like a whore. The Lord gonna get you for that, man. Read, it. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse one. Bring it out. Uh, Isaiah one and nine. Isaiah one and nine, that's what I want. Read, King. Verse nine. Help from beneath is moving from Isaiah one and nine. Isaiah one, verse nine. Right, that's what you want in this society? Come on, man. This place is an abomination, man. Abomination that make him desolate. No, no, no. You black women, you want to get on Instagram and say, I don't want my daughter. I want to party. I want to party. I don't want my daughter. That's what you hey. want. Right now, you just forsake. You just, I, look, I don't even want my child. I'd rather be at the club. I'd rather be the next Sexy Red or Suki Hana. The next Ratchet B-I-T-C-H. That's what you want, man. And that's what you're going to get. Right? And uh, uh, with that, you're going to get death. You're going to get death and destruction and nuclear fire. Because that tension is still mounting up with Russia, with Ukraine. Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Up, man. Oh, yeah. The Lord's mm -hmm. going to turn it up real soon. Freaking. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. 
me. Except the Lord of hosts had put up to us a very small remnant. The Lord said if he didn't leave a very small remnant, God, we should have been at Sodom. We should have been at Sodom, God. And we should have been like a two Jump over the three or not. If I jump over the three or not, I hope I don't have a nightmare. That was crazy. That's what the society breeds, man. Read, King. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 3 and verse 9. Bring it out. The soul of their countenance, the show of their countenance, come on, the witness against them. Do a witness against them, right? And you're showing, it's showing, your sin is shown. And that's what the Lord wants. The Lord, the Lord is revealing the sin of Babylon to the whole world. It's coming out in the open. So when he judges you, you can't say a damn thing. God. You can't say why this is not happening. When you start seeing scenes like the movie 2012 where fire and destruction and buildings are collapsing and smoke and dust and fire and burnt flesh, then you know why. Then you're going to know why. Because mm -hmm. you're wicked and evil as hell, man. Right? Come on. And they declare their sin as Sodom. They declare their sin as Sodom. Go ahead. They hide it not. Hide it not. You know, that's, that's our prophecy. Revelation 11 and 8 tells you that, man. This place is going to be like Sodom and Egypt. That's how you know this place is falling. Your damn presidents and your congressional members and damn politics are zombies now. Time. Damn, Mitch McConnell's a damn zombie, man. <laughs> the man is a damn zombie, man. You got zombies coming up there speaking for your government. That's the Lord mocking your society, man. <laughs> And Joe Biden, his ass don't know if he's coming or going, man. <laughs> he don't know his left from his right. Sleepy Joe, he's sleepy, he's falling, he's calling you a nigga. He's saying you ain't black if you don't vote for him. He's just all over the damn place, man. That's the law of mocking your society. God. The Lord is saying your government is a joke, man. Give me Isaiah 9 and 5 real quick. The Lord said that your government is a joke and is about to be replaced with the righteous government of Yahweh Shai. That's right. Your government is a damn joke, man. That's what the Lord is doing. Read. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 5. Bring it out. My God. For every battle of the warrior. Every battle of the warrior, God. Is with confused noise. Come on. And garments rolled in blood. Confused noise and garments rolled in blood. God. But this shall be with burning. This shall be with what? Burning. With burning God. And fuel of fire. God said this is going to be with burning and fuel of fire. It's going to be a nuclear battle. Right? This is going to be nuclear war. Missiles are going to be launched. Chariots you're going to see in the sky. By right? coming to take up the children of Israel. Come on. For unto us a child is born. God said to us a child is born. God. Unto us a son is given. He's talking about the Messiah. Hamashiach Yahweh You Old Testament only Israelites say. No that's just an Israelite ruler. Well, which one is it then? If you're going to say that, then at least tell us who it is. Oh, that's just an Israelite ruler. No, man. You can't say who it is because you don't want to admit that it's Yahweh Shai. You don't want to admit that it's Christ. God. Right, come on. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. What, which Israelite ruler is this? And can you at least identify him? Which Israelite ruler is this talking about that's going to rule and have a government of the entire nation of Israel? Who is it? Right, come on. And his name shall be called Wonderful. His name is going to be called Wonderful God. Counselor. Come on. The Mighty God. Go ahead. The Everlasting Father. Go ahead. And the Prince of Peace. Who, who fulfills that title? If Even if you don't want to deal with Yahweh Shai, who in the scriptures is described that's going to be a supreme leader like that when, the, when a new uh, government is issued in? Who fulfills that? From Genesis to Malachi, who fulfills that? Even in the apocrypha, who fulfills that? It's got to be talking about the Messiah, man. But y'all don't want to admit that. But you're afraid to admit it. But a lot of you, you're going to see. Because the scriptures say, He cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him. Your ass going to believe in that day. And if you don't want to believe then, then you're going to die. Like, right, come on. Of the increase of his government. What? Of the increase, increase of, of his government. government. Or the zombies of his government. Of the, of the increase of his, of his government. government. Sleepy presidents of his government. <laughs> of the, the increase of his government. Because your Yahweh Shai government is going to increase, man. 
You're not going to have some damn zombies like Mitch McConnell in, in Christ's uh, government, in the new righteous government of the children of Israel. You're not going to have guys tripping all over the place and falling and busting their behind. I mean, anybody can lose their balance here and there, but damn. that man just be falling all over the damn place. In <laughs> peace, there shall be no end. What did I say? In peace, there shall, shall be, be no, no end. end. That's how you know it's a new government because there's no peace in this society. You know, your white supremacists are mad because they got they, they got cracked over side their damn head and thrown in the water in Alabama. So they said, we're going to shoot some niggas in Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. But we're going to go shoot us some black people in Jacksonville. God. And notice, see, you black, Latino, and Native American, Seminole, Indian, you have fear, man. Give me, hold that, give me Psalm 60 and 12. You black, Latino, mm. Native American, and Seminole, Indian, you're scared of the white man. you scared of the devil. And you scared to shed blood. you scared to fight a revolution. you scared to die for the cause. These devils don't be scared, man. Mm. If the white man can't rule, I don't want to live. <laughs> Let me take me some niggas out, and then they go kill themselves. Mm -hmm. right, but Esau say, listen, if I got to be subject to a nigga, I don't want to live. I'm going to kill a couple of them, and then I'm going to die. I'd rather die than to see my country or my society. Because that's what a lot of these uh, white supremacists are. They're in fear that their whiteness is not superior anymore. So they gotta try to go make their whiteness superior. So in that, they say, well, if I can't do anything, I'm gonna kill a couple of Negroes, and then I'm gonna, and I'll just die. At least I went out killing my enemies. That's how they think, man. You Negroes, oh, I don't wanna fight, and you know, and I got my weed to smoke. <laughs> but I got I got my I got my new uh, uh Nikes to get. With Fat Joe, Fat Joe going around giving all the rappers Nikes. Yo, I pulled up to your crib to give these you niggas is dealing with Fucky, <laughs> man. God. You got millions of dollars. You can build institutions. You can mm -hmm. build schools. You can build up your people. You going around on YouTube giving out free pairs of Nikes to other rappers. Like they need them. But right, you got all this money in position, you could do something with it. But no, you go to yo, I got you. I, I'm gonna get you all colors. Too. <laughs> all this millions of dollars and doing nothing with it. But that's why the so-called white man is coming for you, man. Read, kid. Mm -hmm. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 16, verse 12. Check it out. Through God, we shall most high. Come on. Through God, we shall do valley. Valley. Uh, right? For he it is that shall tread down our enemies. See, the problem is you so-called black, Latino, Native American, and Seminole Indian, you don't have no heart. It says we're going to do valiantly. The word valiant means brave or courageous. It said through the Lord, we're going to have courage against our enemies. So that's why a lot of you black, Latino, Native American, and Seminole Indian, you don't have no courage against the enemy. You know why? Because you don't have the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. That's why. The, only the Lord can give you that brave spirit, man. Read it again, King. Through God, we shall do the bravely. The Lord said, through the Most High, we shall do valiantly, right, bravely or courageously or manfully. Come on. For he it is that shall tread down our enemies. And he it is that shall tread down our enemies. Right, uh, link that up with uh, 2 Maccabees 17, 15, uh, 15, 17. Through the most high, we shall do violently. That's right. Meaning courageously, bravely, or manfully. Mm -hmm. Only through the power of Yahweh and Yahweh's shot. And a lot of you so-called black, Latino, Native American, Seminole, Indian, like I said, you don't have that spirit because you don't have the Lord, man. You got, you got Satan. Satan makes you cowardly and scared. Mm -hmm. But the Lord puts you without fear. At least without fear to stand up and speak against your enemies. Now you don't even want to say nothing. Right? No, no, no. Just leave it alone. It's going to get better. Right? Like uh, uh, with the, with the uh, Florida shooting. Some of you black leaders were saying, well, what about the black on black crime? You, you, you deflect the yes, we mm -hmm. know. Our people killing each other, that's bad too. That's just as bad if not more bad. But we know that. We've been, yes, we've been speaking on that. But these devils can you, oh, they get a pass. The so-called white man get a pass. So because we got so-called black on black crime or Hispanic on Hispanic crime, oh, don't say nothing about when, when a white man kill you. No, oh, don't worry about that. They can kill you by the thousands. Listen, we got to deal with both. Yeah, it's wrong when our people are unjustly killing each other. But it's damn skippy it's wrong when these devils are killing us also. You black leaders, they get up there, they send you up there, going out there, Negro, and, and quell this violence. You niggas want to talk about, we, we just want to be able to get along. This got to stop.
stop. The white man is not stopping. He's not stopping. Ever since Martin Luther King, they just had the 60th anniversary uh, uh, of uh, Martin Luther King or whatever, right? The, I think the Marshall Washington, right? The uh, I had a dream speech, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And by the way, that race you shooting in Jacksonville, it was lined up with that 60th anniversary. That was done on purpose. These white supremacists, they like to attack on strategic days and dates that mean something to so-called black people. Come that on. was strategically set up. And it was around the time, it was around the same time that Emmett Till got killed. All right, so that, that white supremacist, he lined that up. He said, I'm a mock you niggas. The hell with your I have a dream and the hell with your Emmett Till. We made that little nigga boy look like the elephant man. And your Martin Luther King, he had a dream that the white man and the black man was going to hold hands and a white hand shot his ass. Facts. The white hand pulled the trigger and shot him. Mm. So don't listen, these devils, they might be white trash, some of them, whatever, but they strategic. He said, I'm going to do this killing. I'm going to strategically do this killing around a time that's important to niggas. Mm -hmm. I'm going to kill you on your 60th anniversary of King. I'm going to kill you on your however many years anniversary of Emmett Till getting killed. I'm going to mock you, Negroes. By me, King. It's the book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 15, verse 18. Bring it out. 17. Verse 17. Thus being well comforted by the words of Judas. See that? Being well comforted by the words of Judas. God. Which were very good and able to stir them up to valor and to encourage the hearts of the young men. To do what? Encourage the hearts of the young men. To encourage the hearts of the young men, God. They determined not to pitch camp, but courageously to set up upon them and manfully to try the man of my confidence. See, now, our forefathers, man, they were, they, when you, when the Lord, when the Bible speaks about them, they use words like courageously. They use words like manfully, which is a synonym for the word valiantly. That's why the scriptures say in Psalms, this is a link up to Psalms, we should do violently through the spirit of the Most High. The Maccabees, what did they have? They had the spirit of the Most High. So that's why he's using words like courageously, manfully. But now you are now, you know, a black on black crime and we want to get along. See, so you're mm -hmm. deflecting, man. Yes. We can talk about so-called black on black crime. But we also going to talk about how these devils are killing us, man. Come. You don't want to talk about that. Why you don't want to talk about that, Negro? Because Master told you, don't get out there and say nothing when we kill you. No, no, no. You, we, we get you niggas back for the Alabama brawl. Y'all can't say nothing. Talk about black on black crime. Right, me, King? Because the city and the sanctuary and the temple were in danger. See that? When our people are in danger, when we are in danger as a nation, we supposed to fight. No, you just right. don't fight, man. You get trampled on. You get trampled on. You let the enemy walk all over you. Come on. For the care that they took for their wives and their children, their brethren and folks, was at least a count with them. But the greatest and the principal fear was for the Holy Temple. The Lord said the greatest and principal fear was for the Holy Temple. Because they knew the only connection they would have to the Most High is through the Temple. The only connection we have to the Most High is this word. So we got to fight manfully and courageously for this word. Right now, we're doing it verbally through the Spirit. Right, we're fighting, we're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with you in the spirit. Right, if and when the time get physical, the Lord going to give his service that spiritual power where not a hair on our head is going to be touched. That's right. We're going to call fire from heaven on your ass. We're going to shoot laser power out of our hands. We're going to think something, and you're going to be decapitated on the spot. With That's right. The finger. That's the kind of power the Lord going to give to his servants, man. Right, read. Yeah. Also, they that were in the city took not the least care, but trouble for the conflict abroad. They said they didn't take the least, they said, listen, we gotta fight, man, it's freedom of death. That's how these, a lot of these white supremacists be going out, man. Right, that's how they be going out. What was his name? Uh, Pal Palatary, down in uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Whatever the hell his know, name man. was. But uh, uh, Daniel Penny up in New York, he said, oh, I got a chance to choke this Negro out on the train. And see, all this stuff, you always talk about, what you talk about is the white man, white man, white man, white. Like the brother brought out earlier, because we trying to get you to see your enemy, man. You can't get out of the way of your enemy so you can see the most see the scriptures, see the beauty and the love of your own people and repent and come back to these laws and love one another. 
So we got to get the damn enemy out of your way, man. So you can have a clear path to see the most high and see the love of your own people. But come on. And now, we're all, as all, look, what should be the trial. And the enemies were already come near. And the army was set in a ring. The army was set in a ring. They was ready for battle. God. And the beast conveniently placed. God. And the horsemen set in wings. Maccabees. Seeing the coming of the multitude. So what? Seeing the coming of the multitude. Now he saw the coming of the multitude of Nicanor and his army. Right? The Greek army. Come on. And the devil's preparation of Amor. And I'm going to show you, yes, we fought against the white man in ancient times. But you Negroes are scared now, man. You shook. All right, and when you do get a little courage and stand up, it dies right back down. It dies right back down. That's why even when a Montgomery fight happened, we said, listen, it's going to have, it's going to, have to be more. It's going to have to be a million Montgomerys all over America. It's going to have to be 10 million racial incidents because one is not enough. You Negroes turn around and start hitting each other with cheers in Times Square, New York. Right, come on. And the fierceness of the beast stretched out his hands for heaven. Come on. And called upon the Lord that worked wonders. And what? And called upon the Lord that worked wonders. Give me um, Psalms 35 and 1. What you holding? No, give me uh, Psalms uh, 35 and 1. Read again, he did what? And called upon the Lord that worked wonders. And called upon the Lord, Yahweh, by Shema Mashiach, Yahushai, that worked wonders. Good. Knowing the victory cometh not by arms. Said the victory don't come by arms, God. But even as it seems good to him, he giveth it such as are worthy. In other words, the victory comes from the Lord. Yeah, you use the weapon, you train, you fight in combat, but it's really the Lord that gives you the strength to defeat your enemy. So that's why you all scared and shook, man. You all scared and shook when, like, uh, when, uh, go back to 1998, when James Bird Jr. got dragged in Texas. And you niggas uh, said, we gon' we go, we go tear down that fence that divides us. There was a fence that divided the white side of Jasper, Texas from the black side of Jasper, Texas. There was a, there was a known fence. And the Edomites said, you niggas don't come past this fence. You know, what the, you know what the black people said, the Negroes down in Jasper said, let's, let's tear that fence down and stop this division. Nigga, how much division do you need when a brother was dragged for miles behind a damn pickup truck by white supremacists? What do you need it? You needed to see his nose divided from off his face? Because right. that's what happened. Uh. They was finding ears and teeth and nose and brain and limbs and all in the, how they dragged the brother body to pieces, man. We don't want no more division. They just dragged the brother's body to division. But you know what? Our people like coons, they said, let's tear the fence down because this fence represents division. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. So the white man drag your ass like an animal and you say, no, no more division now. This is why we got to stay on the damn enemy, huh? Right, like, come on. Therefore, in his prayer, he said, after this, man, O oh Lord, thou didn't sit thine angel in the time of Ezekiel, king of Judea. That you sent your angel in the time of Hezekiah, king of Judea. When you read in 2 Kings, right, they were trying to invade Israel, and the Lord uh, sent uh, the angel against the Assyrian army to kill them because the Assyrians was trying to, they were trying to invade the southern kingdom of Israel. Remember the Assyrians, they conquered the northern kingdom, but they was trying to invade the southern kingdom under Hezekiah. Right, come on. And did it slay in the host of similar Sennacherib. Let me see. Uh, see you around? Sinacrib. Yeah, we're going to get with the brother. We're going to link with him. He got 185,000 uh, of the Assyrian army. The angel of the Lord came and slew. Tell us, man, if the Lord is with Israel, the Lord has sent one angel to take out the whole army of the enemy. We ain't got to lift a damn finger. Let me see. 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 But you yeah. niggas are all and scary. When I you said that to him, you know how the Lord he added more you, on That's to why. what my right, thought on. was about Wait being in the bubble. Mm -hmm. And also, I didn't know Lord of that the U.S. was like you were saying, which just shot that missile. It says, send a good angel 
before us for a fear and a dread unto him. Meaning send the angel before we march against this army to put your fear in their army already, even before we go. By the time we get to them, we say, boom, and they're done. So send that angel before. Send that death angel, that angel of war before us to put that fear in our enemy before we even get to them. By the time we get to them, you have scared them after their death. They get them like silly putty in our hands. Wait, come on. They knew what I was saying. But no, no, no. They had me feeling like they looking at me like something wrong. Like I'm crazy. This stuff I'm saying. They had a town hall meeting on Oprah Winfrey about the Oprah Winfrey Jasper Tate. Yeah, I think that's what they were talking about. Yeah, 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 that's what they were but we drive 10 white men up in there? the place of James uh, Bird, so then we can come back and talk. Yeah. Right. And even yeah, then, yeah. we don't want no damn uh, unity with y'all. But that's how people are, man. Nice talking with you. And we got to go into this because you're you scared, man. Right, that race around. war tension is in the air. And you got a cowardly, scary spirit, man. You don't even have a spirit where say, yeah, these are enemies. Let's fight back. You don't even have that spirit, man. Wait, right, come on. And through the might of thy arm. Let those be stricken with death, and that that come against the holy people. It said, let those be shed. See, that's how our forefathers was talking to the Most High, man. It said, let those be stricken with terror that come against thy holy people. This how we supposed to be speaking, man. Time. But no, 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 no. Tear that fence down so it's no more division. You dragged the hell out of our brother, but now we want to come together. And why you niggas, every time, every time you get killed, you got to come together with the so-called white man. You got to come together with him. Every time you get killed, you got to kiss up to him. And, and he'll never, he'll say, well, you know, the racism has to stop him. And if he do, he's lying like hell. God. And you, you, you're the victim. And, and, and you're so much of a victim. You get so goddamn scared. You get Stockholm Syndrome. And you start saying, no, no, come on, oppressor. And... And let's get together. That's backwards, man. That's backwards. But right? you got to get some courage, Israel. Come on. That come against the holy people to blasphemy. To do what? That come against the holy, holy people, people to blasphemy. God. And he ended thus. Then Nicanor and they that were with him came forth with trumpets and song. Nicanor was a Greek general. And when you read in the Maccabees, they tell you what? Nicanor bear deadly hatred against Israel, man. It said he brought deadly hatred. That's why Maccabees, they understood. This is one of our, our, our main enemies at the time sent an angel before us. Hold that, give me, um, give me that in the law. Give me, um, I know you're holding Psalms 35. Give me that in uh, Exodus 23 and 20. Let's get that in the law. What Maccabees was quote was from the law. So it all, you gotta link it all up. It all makes sense because what? When we keep the commandments of the Lord, the most our spirit gets with us, we get that courageous spirit, and he sent the angels to defend us, man. That's right. And it all goes back to the law. Hey, Jew boy, we coming for you. <laughs> all right? <laughs> that yarmulke is coming off your head, boy. <laughs> that yarmulke is coming off your head, Jew boy. Huh? Huh? You hear me talking to your boy? All right? Y'all ask when we pop, picking some That's cotton for us real soon. Hey, kid. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 23, verse 20. Jesus, do you know Jesus is black? No, 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 probably he is. Right? Yeah, Christ is a black man. And he's coming back to enslave you. You know that? You so-called white people, he's coming back to enslave you. Yeah, because of what your ancestors did. And you are the child of your ancestors, and you're benefiting from it. Right? You're benefiting from it. Right? So get ready. Christ is coming for you, boy. Right, read. God, this is the book of Exodus, chapter 23 and verse 20. Good. Behold, I sent an angel before thee. The Lord said, Behold, I send the angel before thee, God, to keep thee in the way. To keep thee in the way. The Lord said, I'm going to send an angel of war and protection to keep you in the way when you go to fight against your enemies. Come on. And to bring thee into a place which I have prepared. See, the Maccabees wasn't, he wasn't just talking to be talking. He was quoting from the law. Right, come on. Beware of him and obey his voice. It said, Beware of that angel and obey his voice. Come on. Provoke him not. It said, Provoke that angel not. Good. 
for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice, right, and, uh, yeah, the Most High's name is within Yahweh Shah's name. All right, come on. And do all that I speak, yeah. then I will be an enemy. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you know Christ is a black man, right? You know Jesus Christ is a black man? Yes, did you know that? Huh? Right, did you know that? Are you a religious person? You believe in Jesus? You're not really religious? But do you believe in Jesus Christ? Right? What color was he? You don't know. You just want that shot of liquor, right? Give me Revelation 1 and 1. Who said he was, she was white? He was white. Go, go. Eat, a, eat a mic. She the mic. That's white supremacy. That's white supremacy right there, right? Give me Revelations 1 and 1. All right, let's get it. Let's get the description of Christ out of the Holy Bible. A lot of people have been lied to and think Christ is a so-called white man. They think he looked like this. Right, but he don't. Jesus Christ is a so-called black man according to the Bible. All right, read. Huh? It's the book of Revelations, chapter 1 and verse 1. The so-called white man, she's trying to laugh it off, but her ass mean that. Mm. Right? <laughs> That's that white supremacy come out of her. She trying to laugh it off, but she mean it. Read, kid. Huh? The revelation of Jesus Christ. Hey, Shushu, what color was Jesus? Huh? It no, it's no such thing as all colors. He can only, he was only one man. So what color, what color skin was he? Huh? So he's Chinese. He looked like Buddha left up to you, right? right? <laughs> he got that Buddha, right? He, he looked like Buddha, right? So, so you said the Messiah was was. Was uh, fat and with chinky eyes? <laughs> no, no, no. He can only look. He can only look like one person. No, 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 no. Read Revelation one and one. He could, but what was he? Reality and what could be is two different things. Read the revelation of Jesus Christ. The word revelation means to reveal. Right? Come on. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And God gave unto his servants the vision of the Messiah. You know why that was important? Because he knew in future prophecy it would be so much lies about the Messiah. One of the main lies would be his image. Right, jump down to 13. Revelation 1, 13. He cannot look like, he was only one man, so he can't look like everybody. He can only look like one man. Read. Verse 13. And in the midst of the, cam of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. Who is the Son of Man? Jesus Christ. All right, good, good. All right, good. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. And he had a garment down to his foot. Go ahead. And girt about the paps Go with the golden girdle. Go his head and his hairs were white like wool. Now, what people on the earth have woolly textured hair? What people on the earth have woolly textured hair? Like kinky hair. What they call nappy hair. What, what people on the earth have, your people got a, a, a bunch of hair shops. No, you know, I didn't say black. No, no, I, I didn't say black. I said nappy or kinky hair. A lot of Asians own a lot of hair shops, right? All right, who do they mainly sell that hair to? No, no, tell the truth. That, 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 who do they mainly sell that hair to? So-called black women, right? No, come oh, on, man. Man. You're not being honest, man. Yeah. You're not being real. If you're going to talk to me, be real, man. A lot of your Asian hair shops, weave shops, wig shops, they sell their hair to the black women because a lot of so-called black women are ashamed of their hair. So they, hold up, they want the straight wigs and the weaves and the extensions from a lot of the shops that you Asians own. So now, why? Because we have the characteristics of so-called nappy hair. Excuse me? Excuse me? Yeah, my hair is nappy and I'm proud of it. Yours is doggy and stringy. <laughs> yeah, you, yours is doggy and stringy though. Mm -hmm. That's how you so-called white people hair. Your hair is like dogs. Huh? No, no, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't need to see me close up. But so-called black people have so-called nappy hair, right? Why you so-called white people got doggy and stringy hair. Right, let's continue with the word of the Lord. Read, King. Yeah, uh, his guys... head and his hairs were white like wool. What do you say? Oh, you put your shirt on. On your back, you went and got a corona got now? And got a shirt, right? Right? From whence comest thou? 
Satan from going to and fro and so up and down to the earth. Are you guys preachers or what's going on? Yes, we're preaching the gospel. Hold on. We're preaching okay. the gospel of the Holy Bible to the 12 tribes of Israel, the so-called black, Latino, and Native American, and Seminole Indian. Did you know Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible? So that's all it is. Hold on. Do you know Jesus Christ is a so-called black man so according to the Bible? I'm not talking about it. I'm talking about it's all of it. Why you don't, why you don't want to talk right. about that? Why you don't want to take... Is that, is that racism? So you're saying do I hear racism? Race. Why you don't want to talk about I'm Jesus Christ? About, why you don't want to talk about Jesus Christ being a black man? I'm not talking about racism. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish my point. All right, race. we'll see what... Hold on. One, give, one second. We'll see what you're talking about. Let me finish my point. I'm talking about... His head and his hands were white. I don't want to hear that shit, y'all. Why you don't want to hear it? Because you're perverted. Because you're perverted. That's why. Because you're perverted. You want to talk about perverted things. Right? You want to talk about perverted things. I, know that. I remember that gesture you did earlier. Mm -hmm. Right? You want to be a pervert. That's why you don't want to talk about the Messiah. You got the spirit of a pervert in you. And a perverted man don't want to talk about the righteous Messiah. Because you got perverted ways about you. Read, kid. Huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were a flame of fire, and his feet, it said the Messiah, Jesus Christ's feet, go ahead, like unto fine brass, like unto fine brass, brass is already brown, go ahead, as if they burned in the furnace. So Jesus Christ was a very dark skinned or so-called black man, like the sister back there, right, dark, dark and lovely, right, dark skin is beautiful. I'm trying to say dark skin is ugly. No, 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 no. Dark skin is beautiful. Absolutely. So hold on, pervert. Pervert, hold on. Right, hold on, pervert. Right now, hold on. Listen, listen. So according to the Bible, what color would Jesus Christ be? What the fuck does it matter? Hold on, what color would he be? No, fuck it. No, 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 no,
even the old leader might is like, yo, man, yes, just, right? Right? just keep it it's pushing. the book of Proverbs, chapter 17, verse 5. 17 and 11. Verse 11. An evil man, death, an evil man, uh, a so-called white man is an evil take. man by nature. No real man on the earth invites another man to his private part like the perverted white man. That's right. Man, they're right there. Look at you, damn pervert. Mm -hmm. You lucky we we lucky we're not in a dark alley somewhere. <laughs> you lucky we're not in a dark alley somewhere. Your ass Your ass to see the sun, moon, and stars. <laughs> <laughs> and what you got, King Reed? And we got our women out here, you damn pervert. Uh -huh. You disrespectful damn pervert. I ought to catch your ass over by the Ferris wheel. Mm -hmm. I ought to catch your ass over by the Ferris wheel, you damn pervert. Shit, Reed, we, we, King, we can do that. The evil man is seeking <laughs> only revenge. Us and the evil man is seeking right. only rebellion. God, damn boy, about to get trash. Trash. Perverted and, and homosexual and queer, yes. the so called white wow. man is, you damn faggot. Free King shall be sent against you. Shall what? Shall be sent against That's why a deaf angel is I know. on your back. That's it, right. I was waiting for that. A deaf angel is coming to see you. That's right. Perverted people, man. We ain't trying to talk about the Messiah. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. Because you want to make homosexual and perverted gestures. Right? And we right. continue trying to come up and then a brother from Philly going to come up here and talk about, I go with them in Philly. They, they cool. Well, you got to be cool with man. them and, and you're going to get that. That's what you're going to get. John. Hey, kid. Uh, Proverbs 17 and 9. He that cometh a transgression. He that covereth a transgression. Come on. Seek your love. Seek your love. Go ahead. But he that repented. A matter he, he that repeat up a matter, the damn pervert came right back and did the same wicked perverted gesture, man. Mm -hmm. He repeats a matter. He's not going to repent, man. And that's why we tell our people, man, get him out of the damn way so we can teach y'all. Come. But you want you want to have a white man stuck up your behind, man. So now we got to go all the time, waste the time on these devils rebuking the hell out of them. It ain't nothing to us. But we can't get to y'all because y'all so stuck on them. And they some damn sick, degenerate, low-life people, man. Reeke, but he that repented, amen. He that repeated for matter came right back and did the degenerate act that he did earlier. He that repeated for matter, come on. Separated, very friends. That's why we don't want to be friends with you so-called white people, man. We're going to separate mm -hmm. from you, and it's going to be a race war in that day. And your ass going to learn how to be in order. All that perverted stuff not going to be in the kingdom. You're going to pick cotton. We're going to make you go home and lay with your white woman so you can make us more slaves. Mm -hmm. But I know we know you're not going to like it because you prefer a little boy <laughs> or monkey or dog right? or mm -hmm. another man. right? We, we know you're not going to like it, but we're going to make your ass go home and breed your damn white woman mm -hmm. so we can have more slaves and your ass going to pick our cotton, man. That's right. right you're going to pick our cotton, man. It tells you in Job, if his children be multiplied, it is for the sword. So the more children you have, the more we're going to damn sport and our spiritual power to kill them and bring them back to life. We're going to put them in a cotton field, work your ass 18 hours, then get up again and work another 18 hours. Then maybe 20 hours, your ass ain't getting no rest. Two hours rest, get your ass back up, boy, and start working. God. That's how we're going to do, y'all, man. This is serious, man. This is serious. We're not playing up here. Mm -hmm. And all you Negroes, and say, oh, you just talking about this white man. You just talking about... That's our number one enemy. Con. We got we to gotta eradicate this damn devil. The Lord said, set your face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. You don't know the damn Bible, man. Shut your damn mouth about it. You ain't talking about the white man. Shut the hell up, man. Because we'll be teaching you to repent and keep the commandments. You don't want to listen to that. You only want to give us smoke when we talk about the enemy. When we try to give a lesson on, brother, this is how you get yourself together. This is how you repent. This is how you pray and fast. We are going to be out on the Day of Atonement. We're bringing out on the scriptures on how to pray and fast and repent. Where are you going to be at? But you right there. They didn't talk about the white man. Instead of saying, well, brother, you know what? Hey, I didn't know we had something called a Day of Atonement. We got a day that we can fast and, and God will forgive us for our sins. Oh, man, let me learn more about that. No, yeah, I heard you think about the white man. Mm -hmm. You're a bunch of coons and sambos, man. Give me what you got, kid. A reproof. Add it more into a wash, so man, long. than a hundred strikes into a fool. That's it on that, right? Even though, you know, the so-called white man, his ass going to get a hundred strikes. Absolutely. He going to get a hundred strikes. But they're not going to repent, man. They're not going to change. Read what you got, kid. All right, it's the book of three holy children, chapter one and verse nine. Come on. And thou didst deliver us 
into the hands of a lawless enemy. They're lawless enemies, man. Even though uh, they were te they were talking about Babylon here, but America's modern day Babylon. America's the daughter of Babylon. By right, God, most hateful forsakers of God. Most hateful forsakers of the Most High. Come on, and to an unjust king. And this society is unjust, man. It's an unjust society. Right, come on. And the most wicked. And the what? And the most wicked. And the most wicked. Come on. In all the world. I said the most wicked in all the world, man. Esau, he just can't help being a damn degenerate pervert, man. All kinds of just dead, damn lewd, lewd gestures, man. Just lewd as hell, man. But that's the that's who this man is, man. Right, give me um uh Ecclesiastes 115. You can't change them, man. A lot of you Negroes, you want to change them, but you can't. Right? They're vile. And give me up Job 30 and 5 again. Or what the brothers brought out earlier. You can't change them. The scriptures say they're viler than the earth. Right, read, King. It's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1 and verse 15. Bring it out. That which is crooked. That which is crooked, go ahead. Cannot be, cannot be made straight. Esau come right back an hour or two later and do the same perverted gesture. Per same perverted gesture. Bugged out gesture, all right? Oh, no, oh, not this again. Oh, my God. All right, what's your nationality? Black, man. Huh? So-called uh, African-American? So-called? Yeah, so-called. Right, where's your father from? Kenya. Kenya? I don't know. Kenya. Uh, Sabal, where you at? Where's Sabal? Jury's out? Kenya. Kenya? That's him. That's him. Mm -hmm. Well, you can be whatever the hell you want to be. Hey, mm -hmm. thank you, sir. God damn, man. Thank Even him got turned out. Man. You are the fucking God bless God bless it. It. Right? Were you born a boy? God bless. Yes. Oh, man. The Hamites got turned out, man. Damn, him. I thought you were going to fight against Esau. Come on, <laughs> him. What's going on, man? Right? Where's that when they got the coup at? Is that Kenya? Niger. 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 Take your yeah. ass over to Niger, man, and help fight with the coup. Cool. Cool. Every, everybody, man, give me um Revelation 17. Uh, start at 1. Revelation 17 and 1. Everybody done got turned out by Esau, man. Yeah. Everybody got turned out by Esau, right? I don't know what the hell. He said Kenya, but I don't know. So, boy, was he Kenya? Could, could it possibly well, be? Well, you know what? By his words, he justified by God, his words. He his name, yeah. That's it. He said it. Right now, the Kenyan Hamite, the... the, the uh, Sade's brother is turned out. Man. Now damn Sade's brother's turned out. Read, King. All right, read. God, this is the book of Revelations, chapter 17 and verse 1. Bring it out. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto to me, come hither. I will show unto thee the judgment of the great war. So John was being shown the vision of the destruction of America. That's what it's talking about. The judgment of the great war. John was being shown the destruction of Babylon, America. Come on. That sit upon many waters. That sit upon many waters. The many waters represents all the other nations. Come on. With whom the kings of the earth. With whom the kings of the earth. Come on. Have committed fornication. Have committed fornication. And the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk. With the wine of her fornication. There you go. That's a classic. That's that scripture coming Not even to life right there. The inhabitants of the earth, Not the here, other nations, season. have become drunk with the wine of Babylon's fornication, man. Now the Kenyan man is over here. The Kenyan young man is turned out, man. Mm -hmm. he, need, he should have him a young Americanized Hamite woman and ain't chilling. Making it in America. But he want to be turned out, man. Because everybody, what, he just read it. All the nations, the inhabitants of the earth have been drunk with the wrath of her fornication. Everybody's been turned out, man. They've been turned out. That's how you know we're living in the last days and the end, and this society is about to burn, baby, burn. Just, uh. just perversion all over the place, man. All over the place, right to left, just perversion, man. Wickedness everywhere. Right, that's why it tells you of a city is going to be 10 left, man. Because the Lord going to kill so many damn people in these last days. That's why I tell you in Revelation, the blood is going to be up to the horse's bridle. There's going to be so much death and destruction. So many people the Lord got to take out out here. So, like I started out with, Israel, let's repent, man. You see what's going on. You see what's happening in this society. Repent and get yourself right. But you don't want to do that, man. You don't want to do that. Read what you got, King. Continue on. 
with whom the kings of the earth, with whom the kings of the earth, come on, have committed fornication. A lot of the other nations are in league with America. Some of the other nations told you where the hell you can go with your sodomite damn uh, behavior. But a lot of other nations, they in bed with you. They doing the same thing. Come on. And the have and the inhabitants of the earth. The Lord said the inhabitants of the earth, God, have been made drunk. Have been made drunken, God, with the wine of her fornication. They've been made drunk spiritually and literally. They've been made drunk with the wine of your fornication, man. So, um, uh, uh, you so-called black, Latino, Native American, and Seminole Indian, our job is to tell you to repent, man. But a lot of you not gonna repent. A lot of you not gonna repent, man. That's why a lot of you going to die, right? You got more, right? Come on. So he carried me away in the spirit of the wilderness. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored bread, colored beast, full of names of blast, full of what? Full of names, full of names, God, of blas blasphemies, man. That's what America is, man. You are a blasphemous nation, man. But come on, having seven heads and ten horns. Yes, seven heads, the seven main uh, European so-called white rulerships on the earth. And the ten common markets, which was found that they added more, but originally it was the so-called ten common markets. Go ahead. And the woman was arrayed. Uh, jump down to fourteen. Revelation seventeen fourteen. Read. Come, verse fourteen. These shall make war with the lamb, and the lamb shall overcome them. You gonna try to fight Christ? I can tell you in Second Ezra thirteen. You link this up with Second Ezra thirteen. You're going to try to fight Christ. You nations going to get together and try to fight the second coming of the Messiah. Come on. For he is the Lord of lords. Yahweh is Lord of lords. Come on. And king of kings. And he's king of kings. Come on. And they that are with him are called the chosen and faithful. They that are with Christ are called chosen and faithful. Come on. And he said unto me, the waters which thou saw. He said the waters that you saw. Come on. Where the whores sitting are, are peoples what are, are peoples. peoples peoples come on and multitudes and multitudes, multitudes. come on and nations and nations and tongues and tongues. tongues different nations that you saw sitting on a whore all these nations come over here and they get turned out like america man they get turned out and a lot of you come here because you know they wouldn't tolerate that in your country man mm -hmm. you no know, your ass to get put to death but they was having some uh 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 some gay uh, gay uh, uh, party or wedding or something somewhere in an African country, and they came and broke that damn thing up, man. Come. Right? <laughs> Arrested people and everything. Come. Yeah, man, because the Lord is not playing, man. The Lord ain't mm -hmm. playing in these last days. They had a fire in one of them Hamite uh, countries, and 79 people died in a, in a building. I think it was Kenya, Nigeria, one of them South, South Africa. Yeah, South Africa. They had Come. a fire, 79. That you can hear the Hamites screaming out of the fire. Damn. You can you can you can see the, the building burning up and you hear the ham like scream and there was a lot of children, man. Mm -hmm. But ham, what did you do? Give me um drop everything. Give me Joel three and three. Oh yeah, you ham is gonna get judged too. You was one of the main culprits of slavery. Just watch that movie The Woman King. Of course you can do the history, but watch that movie The Woman King. They come right out in there and tell you. It was big business with the so-called white man, the Arabs, and the Africans. They come out of shirt. They try to make it seem like everybody was African, but no. You were selling Israelites off the so-called West Coast of Africa into the hand of the so-called white man. Right? Yes, you were. Right? So it show you that. You so-called Africans, your ass going to pay too. We're not worried about if, if uh, uh, 79 of y'all died and your children were screaming and all that. What happened to our baby screaming, man? What happened to gator bait? Mm -hmm. Right? And as we speak of gator bait, the gator baiter appears. Right? Read what you got, King. You can't make this up. Read. It's the book of your world. Esau, from whence comest thou? Can I speak? Huh? Can I speak? No, you cannot. Yeah, well, you can speak, but you can't have the mic. What you got to say? I graduated from Princeton, and I agree with everything you're saying. Yeah? Yes. If you graduated from Princeton, who are the real Israelites on the earth? Um, the black people. The who? The black people. All right, there give it go. up. All right, okay. All right. Now, what's your name? Um, my name's Rick. I hate white people. You hate white people? Rick, that hates Rick white, white people. people. Right, give me St. Mark 323. This is a good white game. White boy Rick. 
Uh, St. Mark 3.22. Rick that hates white. So-called white boy Rick that hates white people. Right? That's what we're going to call you. Rick Rick is a so-called white man that hates so-called white people. White boy Rick. White boy Rick. White boy Rick hates white people. Right? There you go, white boy Rick. What are you, Italian? Can I speak? You can't have the mic. You can speak. You're speaking now. Irish and German. Irish and German. My kind of white man. That, my, that's a combination that's unmatched. Rick, white boy Rick that hates white people. Irish and German Rick. And I fought in Afghanistan five years. You fought in Afghanistan? Yeah, Kabul. Did you kill Osama bin Laden? I didn't. I, I killed people. But you killed people? But I lost. Did you kill Pat Tillman? They, they, Pat Tillman got killed by friendly oh, fire. God. Was that you? Great was line. that your M16 that Great. shot Pat Tillman? Great linebacker. No. And that was it. That, that was friendly fire. That was purposely that done. Was friendly. Friendly fire. That was purposely done because Pat Tillman, look, he knew a little bit too God. much. They killed Pat Tillman. They lied and said it was friendly. It was friendly. It, it, it was friendly <laughs> fire, but they killed him because he knew too much. Read what you got, King. It's the book of St. Mark, chapter 3, verse yes. 23. Yeah. And he called them unto him and said unto them in parables, how can Satan cast out Satan? See, you're a so-called white man that's against your own kingdom. You hate white people? Yeah. Right? When the time comes, are you going to kill white people, Rick? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Give it up for Rick. All Rick, right, Rick, Rick. Go ahead, Rick. <laughs> right, give it up for Rick, right? That's why Rick That's what I'm talking about. Where you from? Give it up for Rick. You're an Ocean City, motherfuckers. Right, Rick, where you from? Um, basically. Huh? Maze Landing? I'm on a mission right now. You're on a mission. What, what's that mission, Rick? Um, take care of people. To do what? Take care of people. Take care of people. How are you going to take care of people? Um, respect and uh, give, give money and do... What you got now? You got some money now? <laughs> How much you got, Rick? Huh? How much you got? Why give us, that fucking give us what you got. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, look at Rick. Look, 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 Rick, Rick coming back. Rick here. Rick. Ah, Rick, what's Rick. going on, Rick? I thought you was what's on a mission, on, Rick. Rick. What I happened, thought you Rick? was on a mission, Rick. I thought you was on a mission. You know what, you know, Rick? I was going to make you put your money where your mouth is. Which put your money where your mouth is, Rick. How much you got right now? You want money? No, no, no. How much you got right now? Probably like 500. Right, give it up. Not enough. Not enough. Give it up. You said Not you enough. said you want to help people. Give it up, Rick. Give me the mic then. Get no. Give, give it up, Rick. Mic. Nah, Rick, you full of it, Rick. You full of it. You full of it, Rick. Right, give me Ezekiel 33, 17. Right, give me Ezekiel no, Ezekiel 33, 15. Right? Give me the fucking mic. No, you ain't getting the mic, Rick. No, no, you ain't getting the mic. Right, you ain't getting the mic, Rick. You know what? See? Hey, see ya. You know what, Rick? You know what? I know about we got this. Oh, <laughs> Rick is wild, Rick. Rick is wild. But hey, Rick, Rick, you're not a man of your word, Rick. You don't keep your word. You don't keep your word, man. Right? You did what? Yeah. Did you kill? Have you ever? Have you ever killed any black people? Huh? No, no, no. I'm talking about black Americans. Black people. You, you hung black. You hung black people before? You ever hung black people before? You hung black people before? Yeah, you hesitated, Rick. I don't believe you. Give me Ezekiel 33, 15. Rick. Uh, it's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, verse 15. If the wicked restored the place. So, Rick, if you're about that life, Rick, put your money where your mouth is, Rick. Put your money where your mouth is, Rick. Give it up right now. <laughs> Give it up. Get that 500 up. Yeah, yeah I bet. Yeah, see, I bet that one. I, I help people. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. I knew he was going to draw that spirit out you. I knew he was going to draw that spirit out you, damn devil. Read, King. Your ass probably ain't got 500 pennies. Your ass probably ain't got 500 pennies. Fight me? Who you got? Ezekiel chapter 33. Your ass is homeless on Atlantic City Boardwalk, and you talking crap. Read what you got, King. What's, what's, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, verse 15. Excellent. If the wicked restore the pledge. You so-called white people, if your ass restore the pledge, good. Give again that he had robbed. Give back everything that you raped, robbed, stole from our people, good. 
walk in the statutes of life. Keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the Israelites, God, without committing iniquity. Without what? Without committing iniquity. See, the Lord, the Lord set you so-called white people up because he know you're not going to do it. That's right. Right, come on. He shall surely live. He shall surely live, God. He shall not die. The Lord said if you so-called white people could do this, you would live and not die. But your ass can't do it because you're the devil that the Bible speaks of. Right, you can, you're the devil that the Bible speaks of. Rick, come on, man. Your ass live under this boardwalk. Right, who you kidding, Rick? Come on, cut it out, man. Right, give me the whole Isaiah 47 and 1. Cut it out, Rick, man. Stop the bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> At least you say back in East New York, stop the bullshit, Rick. Stop the bullshit, Rick. Come on. You got Isaiah 47 and 1. These devils are finished, man. These devils are finished, right? The white race is going down, sis. You got to repent and come back with your brothers and sisters. Why are you mad at me? You love them? Your best friend is white, ain't she? I go to church with white people. It's some good white folks. Well, I just, I, I eat pancakes with white folks in the town. Right? How are you mad at me, sis, huh? The two Oh, good game, but no, I'm not mad at you. Do you, uh, do you, do you love your own people? You love your own people? Dumb question. Huh? Dumb question. No, don't question. Why I can't question if you love your own people? Yo, Rick, where you going, Rick? And my best friend's not white. My best friend's not white. <laughs> <laughs> what's your nationality, sis? What's your nationality? No, I'm asking you. What's your... A serious question. What's your nationality? Huh? They say melanated. Right. No, I'm from the tribe of Judah of the nation of Israel. That's right. What about you? Where's your father from? I don't know, man. Right, he's a so-called black man? Uh, African American? Okay. Then you know what? If your father's a so-called African American, now, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, you hold on. bring it down, like you. Hold on, wait. I'm, I'm about to break it you down for you. Like two years old. I'm, I, I am. I'm about to break it down to you. I'm, a, I'm about to break it down to you. That's why I asked you. That's why I asked you. What's your father's? Yo, Akim, you got to keep it down so we don't get feet on the camera. He can talk. Put him to the side. Hold on. According to the Bible, right? The so-called African Americans or so-called black people are the real Jews and Israelites that the Bible speaks of and the Lord wants us to repent and come back to the commandment. So are you willing to do that? You love the Lord? All right, so are you willing to repent? Right? Are you willing to repent and come back to the Lord? Huh? No, you gotta cover that up. We can we can show you how to do that. Right, we're gonna show you according to the scriptures. See how people don't want to hear. Y'all don't want to hear. That's the problem. You said talk to you like a two-year-old. No, no, no. Not. I'm not talking about getting on your knees. I don't even know what, what you're dealing with with that. But I'm saying repent and keep the commandments, sis. What is her father? Her dad is her father's Irish and black. What is his father? He said, dad with my dad. Yeah, dad with my Well, then my he's dad. the devil that the Bible speaks That must be yeah. his sister. Well, then, yeah. you know, that she's the devil that the Bible speaks. If that's true. If that's true. But what's your nationality, sis? Huh? You got to repent and keep the commandments of the Bible. Change those genes. Mm -hmm. Change those genes. Right? You got to change those genes, sis, and come up your behind. Right? Give me modest apparel. All right, our people are literally out. <laughs> hold on, one at a time. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Listen, before you go, before you go, let me read this to you. First, to yeah. me, it's a legion. Read. You can't have we your legion. behind we are out many. like that, sis. You got to repent from that, right? Are you married? All right, do your husband All approve of that? Legion. Where is he? No, get him out the room. Get him out here. Get him, go get your husband and tell him I said to cover up your behind. You, you out here, you out here with your behind out and your husband's up in the room? Read what you got, King. First Timothy 2 and 9. The hell is this society coming to read? Read. This is the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. I'm checking you now and I want your husband out here because I got to check him. We need to check him. Yeah. Because he's not checking you. Our people are literally asked out, man. Literally. Israel is literally, literally. asked out, man. Literally asked man, out. Read, read. It's the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 9. And like men. No, no, no. Listen. Listen. You know what it is? You're not used to a real man talking to you. You're not used to a real man talking to you and checking you and telling you to stop having your ass out. Read. 
It's the book of First, Tim First Timothy, chapter two and verse nine. In the like manner, also, in like manner, also, God, that the woman adorns herself. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Ah 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 ah. Why she 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 touched her? She touched us first. Come on, sisters. What are you doing? Why she smacking? She did that. She touched it. Right, get your husband out here and cover your behind up. Cover your behind up. Read First Timothy order. Let's, let's get order. I get that. She's no threat. She's no threat. Read First Timothy two and nine. The truth hurts. Get your husband out here so we can check him to check you. Read King. Bring it out. First Timothy chapter two and verse nine. In like manner also. In like manner also. Go ahead. That women adorn themselves. That women adorn themselves. Come on. Y'all watch this. Apparel. In modest apparel. You're not supposed to have your behind, the bottom of your buttocks out on Atlantic City boardwalk. That's right. Now go get your damn husband so we can talk to him. Come Read, on. King. With shamefacedness. God, and people are right. literally asked out, man. <laughs> literally. Right, Reed, King. Hold on, hold on, brother. Hold on. Read. In the like in the like manner, also good that women adore themselves. That Legion. women adore themselves. Come on, in minus a power. In minus a power. We know the truth hurts. We know the truth hurts. We know you're gonna get mad. House. You don't want to mm. get checked. They now you want to smack the body. Yeah. What if the Lord smacked the hell out of you tonight? Uh -huh. Right now. What if the Lord smacked? We ain't gonna put our hands on the sins and let. Hold on. Right, unless it's actually necessary, you know. But what if the Lord? You a mock woman tonight, man. Yeah. You're a mocked woman now, right? Yeah. You want to try to smack the word of God? If we was if we was gritty like that, but we are gonna uh, be patient, right? We are gonna be in order. We ain't going unless we really have to defend ourselves. But what if the Lord smacked the hell out of you tonight? Ask it struck by lightning. With shame facedness. With what? With shame facedness. With shame facedness. Good. And sobriety. It's sad, man. Our women are. They literally walking. Hold on. They're literally walking with their behind out. Hmm. What did the Lord say? First Timothy two and nine again. Read. Guys, the book of First Timothy, chapter two and verse nine. Good. In like manner also. In like manner also. Come on. That woman. That women. Come on. Adore themselves. Wow. Adorn. Dress themselves. Come on. In modest apparel. No, have your ass out. In modest, modest apparel. At the bottom of your butt cheeks on. In, in modest, modest apparel. apparel. Your stomach is out in the front, and then your butt is out in the back. Come on. In mm -hmm. modest apparel. Yeah. Modest apparel. Yes, young lady. Excuse me. What's your nationality? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep her back, keep her back, keep her back. What's your nationality? Uh -huh. Well, according to the Bible, also called white people, all the children are safe. They are. Whether young, old, I mean, we can't have respect to persons because she's a young daughter, because she's no, a little no, child. No, no. I don't, I don't, don't tell no, me, no, 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 brother, you ain't running nothing up here. According to the Bible, all so-called white Fuck people. Bullshit, Yo, listen, I'm not talking to you, brother. Wait your turn. I'm not talking to you right now. I can, I can deal with you, but wait your turn, bro. And there's no need to be disrespectful. She asked a question, don't get mad at the answer. All right? If you're, don't ask a question and then get mad at the answer. Yes, according to, hold on, hold on, hold on. According to the Bible, all so-called white people are the children of Satan. Now... Have you ever heard of it? So we were talking about it just a few minutes ago. You ever heard of gay debate? All right, tell me it's like. All right, now, hold up. What did the so called white people do to our children and still do it today? So I don't know. You see that? It don't matter. It don't matter, right? They, it don't matter what they did. They get a pass. They get a pass. But where the bad guys? Where the bad guys? Give me Deuteronomy 32 and 7. Where the bad guys? Because we call out the wickedness. When they fed our babies to alligators. We can't say nothing about that. That's irrelevant. You but when we say it. they're the children of Satan, you no matter they're eight it. months or you 80 years old, it's a problem. We, we have one more some bullshit. You're a bigger bullshitter for standing here listening to bullshit. That's right. Just don't put the dude in front of me. Listen, listen, listen. You know what? Mm -hmm. Go take your children and have a nice night. Yep. Take your children, have a nice night. All right, have a nice night. I take your children, have a nice night. Read, kid. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32. Is that, is that the man that switched off? Come, let me deal with you. Come up, you come up. Hold on, sis, can you step up? Can you step back? Can you step back? Can you step back? Yeah, don't, don't violate, sis. No if you don't agree, if you don't agree, if you don't agree, 
agree, but I'm saying if you don't agree, if you don't agree, then you can step back, but you don't know violence. You're the man, let me deal with you. Let me deal with you. Yeah, what's the question? When you look at me, what color you say? Excuse me? When you look at me, what color you say? I see a lighter shade of red. A lot of shit. I'm not fucking talking to you. I I now, back to you. I'm giving. I'm giving him the same energy. Mm -hmm. Now, back to you. Tell him that. Well, tell him that. Well, tell him that. Well, tell him that. Well, tell him that. Tell him that. Good. Now, you. 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 And what about him? Yo, get your kids. Come on. Come on. Come on. We got children here. Come on. What's she cussing for? Stop. Stop. Huh? He cussed because he cussed. He's some bullshit. This is bullshit. Right? He said it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He matches energy. Why are y'all drawing in front of your children? I don't know. You gotta tell me. You're drawing in front of the children. Take your children. Have a nice night. Y'all can leave. Y'all can leave. If you're a Caucasian Italian, then you're the devil, and you're going to slavery according to the Bible. That's right. Revelation 1 and 7. Revelation 1 and 7. Listen, take your children and go home, man. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds. Behold, Christ is coming back with clouds, the chariots, and the angels, God. And every eye shall see him. Every eye shall see him. And they also with piercing. You Italians are the modern day, you are uh, Italians are the modern day Romans. Christ coming to see y'all. Bring that out. Christ coming to get y'all. He's coming to get y'all. And all kindred of the earth. And all kindred to the earth. Come on, show well because of him. Show well because of him. Christ coming to see you, Italian. You Italian Romans. Pierce Christ. And he's coming to get you. He's coming to get you. Hey, yo, yo, fall back. Fall back. Fall back, yo. Fall back and be easy. All right? Fall back. Don't creep up here. Fall back and be easy, all right? You don't like what's being said. You don't like what's being said. You can have a nice night. Good night. Goodbye and good night. You don't like what's being said. Right? Revelation 1 and 7 again. Be easy. Come on, take your children and go home. And listen. And listen, hold up. I'm mad enough, I'm, I'm mad enough to say. I'm mad enough to say. If there's any Israelite children in that circle, then I do apologize for cursing in front of them. But I don't apologize for G-checking your little disrespectful ass. Read. Mm -hmm. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 7, 1 verse 7. Hold on, hold on, order, 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 order. They just emotional. And you know what? All of that is for the Italian boy. It's all for the Italian boy. All that is for the Italian boy. Read, King, read. Behold, he comes with clouds. And every eye shall see him. Give me on Ecclesiastes 9 and 11. Give me Ecclesiastes, no, 11 and 9. Ecclesiastes 11 and 9. Right? Give me uh, Ecclesiastes 11 and 9. Take the children home, man. Take the children home. You don't like it, then leave. Take the children home. Bye. Right. Bye. Read, read, read. It's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 11, verse 9. Rejoice, O okay. young man, in thy youth. And let thy heart charity. Let thy heart charity. And what you say? What you say? What you say? Do what to you? That's what. That's what you going to do to him tonight. Right? Rejoice, right. <laughs> so young man, and thy youth. And let thy heart. And listen. And listen, bro. Listen, bro. I'm gonna look you in the eye. I'm gonna tell you. If you don't repent, God is gonna kill you. That's right. You don't repent, you a dead young man walking. That's right. Little disrespectful niggas like you. Hold on, order, 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 Akim. Little disrespectful niggas like you. The Lord gonna kill your ass if you don't repent. Read, King. Rejoice, so young man, and thy youth. Rejoice. Run your damn mouth, be disrespectful. Come on. And let thy heart cheer thee in the day. Let your heart cheer you in the day, God. I'll tell you. Have a nice day. Take it easy. If you don't bullshit, why you say no doubt for all these things, God? God will bring thee into judgment. Your ass got a judgment coming to you. That's right. Back to our regular schedule program. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're done, you're done. You're done, Stop, 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 stop. You're drunk. You're drunk. Stop, stop, stop. Fall back, fall back. Get in order, Akim. Get in order. Let's continue on. No, you don't. Let's, let's, the truth hurts. The truth hurts. Excuse me? All right, listen. Okay, now. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. If you respect us, hold on. If you respect... 
Damn. 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 You too busy shaking. I know, right? Man, Never mind. Give me Proverbs 11 21. Proverbs 11 21, man. Right, everybody's emotional because the truth come out. You can't handle it. Right Yo ass come up in the kitchen. You can't take the heat when you ask a damn question and you get the You're answer. You can't tell talk. what the damn answer. So don't come up here and ask a damn question now. Proverbs 11, 21. Who got it? Fuck. Hey, this is the book of no. Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 21. Bring it out. Now here, join the hand. Now you want to curse me out and tell us to go down, go do no. you know what, which is no. homo as hell, no. but you want to shake the damn white man's hand. Make it make sense. Hey, no wicked shall be unpunished. Read again from the top. The hand shall, the hand joining hand. No hand joining hand, God. The wicked shall be unpunished. The wicked shall not be unpunished. Read it again. But the seed of the righteousness shall be delivered. <laughs> what is Esau? Oh, Esau with the middle finger. Uh, Esau with the middle I'm finger. Fighting. Right, read no. it again. Read it again, King. Can I, can I, can I say hold something? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can Here. I say some shit? The He's hand joining hand. No so hand joining hand, go ahead. The wicked shall not be unpunished. I'm gonna stop the so-called white man from getting this judgment, man. Everybody's mad. That's what that's everybody's mad because the truth is coming out. We not some Negroes that's tap dancing, that's telling you what you want to hear, right? Watch Esau, right? He's talking. They're not tap dancing and telling you what you want to hear and singing, singing la 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 la. He ain't trying to listen and leave. And said, no, tear down the fence now. Tear down the fence so we can be together now. We're not doing that up here. Read it again, Proverbs 11, 21. It's all about fairness. It's all about fairness, though. 6 and 13. Read. Wow. The hand join the hand. No hand join the hand. Come on. The wicked shall be unpunished. The wicked, wicked shall, shall not be unpunished. Be unpunished. With the but the seed of the righteous is the seed of the righteous. Come on. Shall, shall be dead. delivered. Now, what's your plight? I'm going to give you a chance. What's your plight? What do you say? No, you cannot. No, I can't. What's your nationality? What's your nationality? Man, fuck all that. You just keep talking. See, you drunk and I'm late, man. Yeah, you hey, drunk, bro. Listen, give me Job. Before you, know you get here, that, bro. give me Job 625. Ain't nobody listening to you. Bro. Right, you but are. you. I know. you. Why you here then? Because <laughs> you, you ain't trying to let me talk. Bro. Right, no. All right, go home. Listen, I told you you could talk, but you can't get the mic. Talk, What's your nationality? You ain't trying to let me talk. What's your nationality? Bro, brother, go sleep it off. Talk. Go sleep it off, brother. Yeah. You got you gotta have a hangover tomorrow. Drink some and water. Just sleep it off, brother. Read what you got, King. Read the book do of Job, ball. chapter exactly. six and verse twenty-five. Yeah, ain't got do right how ball. forcible are right bro. words? You see how much impact the truth carries. What did the Lord doing? say? Yo, 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 yo. Oh, what you doing? Don't, don't, don't. What do you got in that cup? What do you got in that cup? Bro, listen. You got some Hennessy or something? Nah, nah, nah. You're drunk, bro. You're drunk. Don't touch you. Don't touch you. Do you up on us? This is our platform, not yours. What did I say? Bro, bro, I'm trying to talk, no. All right, but it's our platform, but, not yours. I've been, I've been trying to argument. say that for like a whole Reproof. hour. You can talk. You don't need a mic. Don't do it, you don't, you don't need the mic to talk. He just want to argue. Yeah. He, don't want, he don't want no edification. He want to argue. Yeah. He want to argue, man. Take a walk, Read, man. Job 625 again from the top. Read. It's the book of Job, Bro, chapter 6, fuck? verse 25. God. How forcible are right words? How forcible are right words? The truth carries impact, and people get upset and mad. Nobody want no edification. Everybody just want to fly off the handle. You want to deal with your emotions. You don't want to have a rational conversation. You're just emotional. You don't want to deal with no reality and you just want to deal with your emotions, man. You come up here and ask a question and they get mad at the answer. Read, King. But what do your argument reprove? What do your argument reprove, right? Come on. Do you ain't trying to get the mic, though. You give that nigga the mic, though. And the you ain't trying to let nobody of speak. One that is desperate. Can you reprove the words of one that no, is desperate? No, come on. You ain't fair. Which you are, ain't fair. Which are as wind. Fair, because the words bro, become like bro, wind bro. now, man. Can you catch the wind? No, you cannot. No, you can't catch the wind. No, no, so you can't deal with a person that's desperate in a rational conversation and discourse. You can't. You're not trying to it's just like speak. trying to catch the wind. You can't deal with them. It's impossible Teach. because they're irrational. Teach. So we're going to continue with the word of the Lord, you're man. Give me Zechariah 7 and 11. No, you're not trying to let me speak. Zechariah 7 bro. and 11, right? You're not. Not you a preacher, yeah. right? Give me Zachariah seven. Preacher, right? A few more, we gonna wrap you're it up, man. Bullshit. These people don't want no edification, man. You're they don't want no you're, edification. No, no, you're not they don't to want speak. edification. You you're wanna argue? To you wanna be emotional? You wanna talk about cursing in front of the children? All this stuff. And I'm mad enough to say, if there was any Israelite children in that crowd, I apologize for cursing in front no, of them. Everybody was. else, the hell with y'all. The hell with y'all. No, you cannot. You can have a nice night. Yo, 
Take your buddy, man. Take your buddy. Go ahead. Let him go. Lay him down, man. Lay him down. Greek. <laughs> you overwhelmed the father. That's it on that. That's it on that. What you got? Zechariah 7 and 11. Yo, take him, man. Sober him up. He can come back next time. Come back next time when you're sober and we'll deal with you. Read, right, yeah. It's the book of so, Zechariah, so chapter 7, this, verse right? 11. God, but they refuse to hearken. Our people refuse to hearken. They don't want to listen. Yo. They don't want to listen. Come on. And pull away the shoulder. And they pull away the shoulder. Come on. And stop their ears. And they stop their ears. Come on. That they should not hear. They don't want to hear. They stop. They don't want to hear the truth. They want to argue. You Let me get the mic. No, F you. you finished, you, There's no you edification. Finished, Nobody want edification. Bro, Nobody want edification. We can. But if we had Suki Hana up here. Ain't nobody everybody be quiet and twerking their ass along with you. Bruh, ain't nobody listening to you, though. So bro. then take your ass about Yeah, why are you here? Ain't Last nobody listening to you. Bye. Bye. You got a dumb ass iPhone. Bye. He's sitting there looking for talk. Yeah. He's they made their hearts as a man stone. Adamant stone. He's hard as rocks. <laughs> hey, you, you two like to fight tooth in the wind. Slock it, slock it. Slock it. He started, yeah, he's trying to. He's trying to. <laughs> I know, right? That's that shit here. The law. And the words with the Lord hope. Look. Look, he a man of Christ, right? He a man of Christ, right? By the God. form of prophet, he a man of Christ. Therefore, came a great bread from the Lord of hosts. See, that's why a lot of our people, you gonna get the wrath. Bro, yeah. He you gonna bro. get the wrath for the Lord, bro, man. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. No, you did. Yeah, one So, he ain't never get no bonds. So, so, he ain't never get no bonds. He ain't never get right. no bun. Everybody's 16 mad. Years old. Everybody's mad. 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 Everybody's and, and when we try to do that, y'all try to run all over us. Read what you got, King. Even Esau had to walk away. Read. Uh, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, and verse 8. Behold, I have made thy face strong against them. God said, I made, I, he made our face strong against y'all faces. Come on. And thy forehead. And our foreheads are mine. Come on. Strong against their forehead. So the men of the Lord, man, we ain't going to kowtow and be all weak. And, uh, listen, the way you come up here is how you're going to get dealt with. Read what you got, it's the book of Luke, chapter 19, verse 27. Start at 14. Fuck y'all niggas, bro. That's how I'm coming. Fuck y'all niggas. And it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called upon him, to whom he had given the money. Luke 19, 14. But his citizens hated him. What? His citizens hated him. His citizens, and most of the time, it's our own people. Most of the time, it's our own people, right? Come on. Yep. And sent a message after him saying, we will not have this man reign over us. We will not, they don't want uh, Christ to reign over them. Right? Or to argue him. Just ignore him. Just ignore him. Right? Just ignore him. All right? If he violate, then he's fool. If not, just ignore him. No. No. He said it. He said it. <laughs> that when he was returned, had received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called upon him. To whom he had given the money that he might know. Not. So the Lord said his citizens, it said Christ's Yo, so own citizens hated him. Jump down to 27. Read. That's a scary sight. But those my enemies. Christ said those my enemies, God, which would not that I should reign over them. Which would not that I should reign over them, God. Bring hither. He said bring my enemies hither, God. And slay them before me. You're going to die before Christ, man. Except That's right. That's right. You're going to die before Christ, man. Isaiah 57 and 4. Read. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 57 and verse 4. You niggas are like a workout, man. God damn, man. Legion. I feel like you damn uh, five hours in a damn gym, man. Read what you got, King. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 57, verse 4. Against whom do ye sport yourselves? Against whom do ye sport yourselves? Go ahead. Against whom make ye a wide Yo. mouth? The Lord said, against the whom word. make ye a wide Yo. mouth? Come on. And draw out the tongue. Do what? And draw What's out the tongue. Y'all people always right. want to speak against us. Shut up. They always want to speak against us, man. They hate the men of the Lord. They hate when we he bring out this truth. 
Like, come on. I, I invited the brother a few times. Let's talk. He want to cut. He want to threaten. He want to call people out their name. And see, when you do that, it just shows who you are. The word, OG. The right? It, 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 it shows who you are. Mm -hmm. Right? Good. Are ye not children of transgression? What the Lord said? Are ye not children of transgression? The Lord said what? Are ye not children of transgression? Our people are children of transgression. God. Mm -hmm. And seed of falsehood. Seed of falsehood, man. Because you don't want to learn about the Lord, man. You don't want to learn about the Lord. Mm -hmm. But give me Isaiah 58 and 1. Isaiah 58 and 1. You don't want to learn about the word, man. You want to get emotional. You want to get upset. They Let's have read. a dialogue. They can read. They can't right? comprehend. Right. That's what we're doing. They All read right? words. They don't right? understand. That's what we're doing. But, mm -hmm. but you got to read and then you got to give the sense. All right. We know it's the word, word, word. But we read the word. Real quick, give me a Nehemiah 8 and 8. You got to read the word. Hold on. You got to read the word, but you also got to give the sense. You got to you gotta edify on it, right? Read it. It's the book of ne Nehemiah, chapter 8 and verse 8. So they read in the book, in the law of God. They read, they read. So they read in the book, in the law of God. So they read in the book of the law of the Most High. Come on. Distinctly. And gave the sense. That's what we do. We read the scripture and then we edify on the scripture. We give the sense of it. Read, King. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. Cry out loud. No, be weak. Cry out loud. Talk like mm -hmm. sissy. Cry, Cry out loud. loud. Brothers about the love of the Lord. Cry, Cry out loud. loud. Lord say. Cry, Cry out loud. loud. Voice like a trumpet. Come on. And people that transgressions. Show my people that transgressions. Come on. And the house of Jacob their sins. Show the house of Jacob their sins, man. Right, give me Amos 5 and 10. Right, give me Amos 5 and 10 and give me Matthew 5 and 10. Now we all chill. Five and 10 and both are chapters. I mean, both books. Right, give me Amos 5 and 10 and Matthew 5 and 10. Read Amos 5 and 10 first. I got an opinion. You was arguing with a white man. What was right, uh, Amos was 5 and 10. And then uh, Matthew 5 and 10. Uh, and, uh, man, we gonna shake these. We gonna shake the dust. too much money to put my hands on that nigga. Not for good, but for tonight. Right? Read what you got, kid. And all the demons waiting for me. I know, right? Like, Paul, Paul calls this moat. Got them demons waiting for me. Read, kid. God, it's the book of Matthew. Chapter quiet all night. <laughs> <laughs> it's the book of Matthew, chapter five and verse ten. Bless my day, which are persecuted. No, no, no. I want uh, uh, Amos five and ten. Oh, yeah. it's, it's the book of Amos, chapter five and verse ten. Bring it out. They hate them. They hate them. God. That rebuke is in, in the gate. The gate represents the chief places of concourse, and we're rebuking in the gate. Come on. And they abhor him. And they abhor him. God. And they abhor him. Come on. Yeah, abhor him that speak upright. Now, when when uh, the little so-called Caucasian girl up here with the Italian father, mm -hmm. listen, we can't have no respect the person. Yeah. That's why you. That's why I immediately went to the gate of it because wait a minute, you didn't regard our children. So we mm -hmm. got to tell you, you ask the question, you got to be ready for the answer. Yeah. Right? Don't come up in a damn lion's den and don't expect to get <laughs> roared on. <laughs> right. Over here, yo. Man, stop playing. 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 You will get fucked up. Stop playing. You ran, you ran our children. You ran our family. Stop playing. You understand? We're not playing. I will put this down. You guys will be in that, that, that ocean somewhere. Get back on the read now. Listen, brother, brother. Calm down. You're not trying Calm to let down, speak. brother. Calm down. Bro, you're not trying to let me You violated oh. now. Now you're trying to go behind. I'm not trying to violate with your you, sisters, bro. man. Your ass. Come on, brother. Don't don't, don't do that. Bro, don't up. do that. Bro. We're not out here. We're not out here for that. We out here to teach the work. Although we come off with force and power, we out Yo. here to edify people. Chill out, man. No. Chill no, I'm about to fight, I'm about to fight for me, bro. For shit. Me. No, no, bro. Any swing you do, you're done. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. You're over speaking a word. I'm not disrespecting me. I'm not. I'm not. Speak it upright. What do I say? Speak it upright. It's all right. It's all right, brother. It's all right. Let the word speak. It's all right, brother. It's all right. Let the word speak. Read. Thank you. All right. Take it easy. Take it easy. The train is upon the poor. Read again for the top selector. 
For as much uh. therefore as you're training is upon the poor. That's it on that. Now link that up. Amos 5 and 10 with Matthew's 5 and 10. They hate him that rebuke in the gate, and they abhor him that speak uprightly. All right, read, King. Appreciate it. This is the book of Matthew's chapter 5 and verse 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted. Which are what? Which are persecuted. That's what Amos said. They hate him that rebuke in the gate. Blessed are they that are persecuted. Come on. For righteousness. For what? For righteousness. Sake for theirs in the kingdom of heaven. The Lord said, when you go through this, the kingdom of heaven is for you. That's right. Right? The kingdom of heaven is for you. Give me St. John 16 and 1. Right? Give me uh, 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 um, St. John 16 and 1. The Lord said, when you suffer this, yours is the kingdom of heaven. They're not going to like the men of the Lord, man. They're not going to like it. I don't give a damn what you say about how we speak. Well, because whether we say it nice or nasty, we get the same damn reaction. It's just keep talking that you again. Right, be what you got, King. I'm not worried about that. St. John 16 and 1. St. John 16 and 1. Read. God. This is a book of St. John, chapter 16, verse 1. Nah, back up, bro. I'm going to tell you that Jesus. This is the book of St. John, chapter 16, verse 1. To get his ass lined up for judgment. My God, these things have I spoken to you, that ye shall not be offended. Yeah, how is y'all said when these things? See, the average person would be like, damn, y'all gotta go through that? Why are you talking so or the, the, the average person, man, that can't be the word of God, the way y'all talking, man. No, men of God don't talk like that. So man, are you we got our times when we talk nice, but you got to get down and dirty when you in camp, man. Yeah. We got the battlefield that gets down and dirty. That's Nobody go to huh? war and be nice. Right, right. You right. go to war and be nice. Read, okay? King. Huh. They shall put you out of the synagogue. Oh, so they going to put us out of the synagogue. Come on. Yeah. The time come, the time come if God that whosoever killeth you, whosoever killeth you, come on, will think that he did it God's service. See, they make they say we the bad guys. Right? Give me um give me a uh, rude and speech yet not in knowledge. Right? They they make it they make it like we're like we're the bad guys. Right? Oh them guys, oh, no man of God speaks like that. That can't be the word of God. No man talking like that. Man, listen, man, the prophets was rebuking everything walking, man. Mm -hmm. Now, the prophets and the servants and the teachers and the disciples, they was rebuking everything walking. When Christ spoke, Christ told Herod, when he spoke about Herod, he said, go tell that fox. <laughs> and calling the person a fox back then was like calling him the devil now. And that came out of that. the Messiah's mouth. Read, when, 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 when. When and these things will when? do what they do unto you. These things they will do unto you. Come on. Because they have not known the Father. They have not known the Father, God. Nor me. Nor who? Nor, nor me. me. They have not known uh, the most high no. you how we show. You don't believe they in that. They haven't known the Heavenly Father you don't believe Lord in that Christ. Shit. So that's why they behave like that. And they think they will kill the men of the Lord and they're serving God. Because they make us the bad shit. guy and why they claim to be the righteous. That's you don't believe right? that. Right? The Lord said the time gonna come when they're gonna believe kill you. And you say that they're serving me. You don't believe in that shit. This is the book you of 2 Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse 6. But though I be rude in speech, you know, no man of God speaks like that. Oh, no, he was just cursing. God. Right, come you on. Just... But though I be rude in speech, you know what? yet you know what? not. And now the knowledge that we're giving you is priceless, man. It's priceless. So repent, keep the commandments, and come back to the Bible. Brother, you know, you tipsy, man, and, and it is what it is, man. We'll talk to you when you sober. No, nah, no, nah, because you ain't trying sober to Sober up, and we'll talk to you. Give me Proverbs 23 and 29. Sober up, and we'll talk to you, brother. All right, pro all right Proverbs 23 and 29. You're disrespecting right, the words. Read. God, this is the Fuck. book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 29. Bring it out. Who have woe? Who have woe? Come on. Who have sorrow? Who have sorrow? Come on. Who have contention? Who have contention? Come on. Who have babbling? Who have wounds without Bullshit. cause? Said, who have Bullshit. babbling and wounds without cause? Meaning wounds you could avoid. God. Who have who have read it of who have read it of eyes? Who have redness of eyes? Come on. They that tarry long at the one. <laughs> tarry long. That man probably had that damn 7 Eleven cup. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> 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 right? 
They that tarry long at the wine. They that tarry long at the wine, God. They that go to seek mixed wine. They that go to seek mixed wine. And, and some of everything probably been in that damn cup. Man. God. That man will probably be brown. That man has some suds in there. That man has some damn ripple. That man has some man to show it something. The ripple. That man had a damn butt light in that cup. Everything to pipe in that cup since 5 o'clock this damn afternoon. Read again from the top. <laughs> the book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 29. Bring it out. Who had woe? Who had sorrow? Who had contentions? Who had babbling? Who had wounds without cause? Who had wounds without a cause? Because you'll mess around and run your mouth to the wrong person and wake up in a damn emergency room tomorrow morning. Right? Come on. Who had redness of eyes? Everybody not going, going, um, you know. Say, nah, give him a pass, you know, stall him out like they say on the West Coast because he's drinking. Everybody ain't going to do that. Right, like, come on. They that tarry long at the wine. They that tarry long at the wine. Go ahead. They that go to see mixed yeah. drink. That man, that man. Oh. Everything done been in that damn cup since 5 o'clock this afternoon, man. And he's still going. They that tarry at the wine. Go lay your ass down, man. It's time to stop drinking and go lay down. Right, but we're going to continue with the word of the Lord. And now back to our regular scheduled program. God. Yeah, I, Israel, I, was try, I was trying to, see, I was trying to tell Israel to repent. That's what I wanted my lesson to be on. Right, but you can't do that. You can't do that, man. Right, because our people are wicked, they're evil, they're hard-headed, they're stubborn, they're rebellious, and the Lord got something for them. The Lord got something for them. Give me uh, uh, 1 Samuel 15, 22. The Lord got something for you, man, because you're rebellious as hell, man, and stubborn. Give me, um, give me, uh, uh, First Thessalonians two and fourteen. Right, you hate the men of the Lord that sent to you, man. Okay, Khan, Khan, uh, two more, we out of here. Slocky. First time you fifteen twenty two. Baruch said, "Mad Dog twenty twenty. Yeah, Khan. Wow, wow. <laughs> it's the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 15, verse 22. Come on. And Samuel said, As the Lord has great delight in birth of offerings and sacrifices, as in obeying the voice of the Lord. Come on. Behold, to obey. To do what? To, to obey. obey. To obey. Go ahead. It's better than sacrifice. It's better than sacrifice. Come on. And to hearken than the fat of rams. The Lord said, then, And hearken than the fat of rams. Go ahead. Uh, 23. But rebellion, but rebellion, come on, is as the sin of witchcraft. You might as well be a damn witch if you rebel against the Most High and His Word and His servants that sent to teach you. Come on. And the stubbornness is mm -hmm. as inequity and idolatry. The Lord says stubbornness is just like iniquity and idolatry. Come. And, and damn it if you Negroes are not rebellious and stubborn as hell. What'd you say, Esau? Right, I know, right? You learned that from Vietnam, right? Huh. Right, you learned that when you was in Nam, right? What do you say when you see a what? When you see a fly. Oh, fly. So, like, no fly. <laughs> <laughs> you learned that, right, you learn that in Nam in 68. Huh? Jang bang, sing high. <laughs> hey, you, 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 you been saying it ever since. <laughs> 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 no, 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 that man learned out in Vietnam and been saying it ever since. Drink it. This is the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 2, and verse 14. For ye, brethren, became followers of, of the church of God, which in Judea are in Christ Jesus. For ye also have suffered like things of your of your own of your own countrymen, even as they have of the truth. Verse 15. Who both killed the Lord Jesus. Who both killed Hamashiach Yahweh Come on. Who? And their own prophets. Who? And their own prophets. Come on. And have Prove. persecuted us. Prove it. And, and, they ple and they please not God. The Lord said they please not the most high. Come Prove on. Prove it. And are contrary to all men. And you can't teach them nothing. They just contrary to everything. They, huh? you are, you they are contrary to everything. A lot of these spirits are the same spirits. That would have killed and persecuted the prophets and the men of the Lord in the ancient time. Come. All right. Give me, um, um, you give me Amos 3 and 3, and you give me uh, Romans 3 and 3. 3 and 3. 
Tree and tree. Tree and tree. Not four and four tonight. Four and four. No, four. Not here. No four and four, four tonight. Four. Tree and tree. Four and four. Tree and tree. And tree. Right? Right? Shamai is here. Right? Yeah, tree and tree. Tonight. Right, tree and we're going to close on that. Man. <laughs> <laughs> right. Tree and tree. Yeah. Right. It's the book of Amos, chapter three and verse three. Can two walk together? Except they be agreed. That's it. We can't, a lot of our people, we can't walk with y'all because we don't agree. And the main thing is y'all don't agree with what thus saith the Lord. Uh, Romans 3 and 3. Uh, it's the book of Romans, chapter 3 and verse 3. Well, what if son did not believe? At the end of the day, man, at the end of the night, he just he's talking. For what if some did not believe? Come on. Shall their unbelief, shall their unbelief, come on, make the faith of God without effect? Is that going to stop the word of the Lord from being the truth? Come on. God forbid. God forbid. God forbid. Meaning forbid. no. Come on. Yay. Look, I mean, Salakia, God forbid. Yay. Let God be true. Let the most high power Yahweh be true. I'm come on. Arguing. But every man, why? Lie, every man is why a damn arguing? liar when it comes to this word. Argue with some white man. Man. As it is written. As it is written, don't God. Me, bro. That don't thou talk to you. I, do, I talk, talk to you. What the fuck are you talking about? So, you might no, be justified. No, argue argue with the white man. Argue with the white man. You want to argue with your brother. Overcome. Come on. Fuck who? We'll be, we'll be, I'll be out of camp. I'll be out of camp soon. Keep that energy. Keep order, Akim. My fault. As long my as fault. we come out of the word of Yahweh by Shem Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, then we are justified in our saying, and we will overcome when we're judged. Because the Lord said, "We'll say, well done, my servant. You taught and stood up for my word." And that's it. By Shema Mashiach Yahushai. So with that, Shema Mashiach Yahushai. To America, the so-called white man, the other nations, power, peace, safety, and the kingdom of heaven to the 12 tribes of Israel forever. May we reign supreme and get a crown of victory over you other nations, you white people, you other nations. May you be slaves in our kingdom and we rule forever and ever our month. By Shema Mashiach Yahushai. By Shema Mashiach Yahushai. Atlantic City, your ass ain't escaped this year. You got uh -huh. that work tonight? That's we right. We got that work tonight. We miss you on Memorial Day, but we got your ass on Labor Day. By Shema Mashiach. By Shema Mashiach. So with that, peace, safety, and the kingdom of heaven to the 12 tribes of Israel once again. Come here, Shalom. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Atlantic City, we'll be back to set fire to your ass again. That's buddy. right. Call me a shower. Call me a shower. Where you go? Oh, of course, yeah, we out, we out of camp. He gone now, right? All praise the most high. You know, the, the, the legion came out. You see what that, that is? It's just, uh, it's just spirits coming around from all angles, all angles. And of course, we're done. Nowhere to be found, you know. So we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. Everybody, you know, um, make sure you repent. Come back to these lost statutes commandments. These are the last days. You're not got anything to say. Yeah, hey, man. Camp was beautiful tonight, man. We had a bunch of bunch of folly at the end, but you know, all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High, man. The word went out strong, mighty as mighty as hell, man. Atlantic City got this work, and we shook the hand at all the at all the damn heathens, and especially the damn crackers, man. All praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God. There's nothing against this truth, but for this truth, all we're gonna do is continue to move forward and move this work forward, man. That's all we gotta do and fight for your crown, Israel, because it's yours. Shalom, Khan, Khan, Shalom, Kings. Shalom, uh, princesses. All right. Stay strong. Keep going. Don't stop.